Eve. Welcome back to Aromatics. Today we're going to be doing a ridiculously big unboxing. I haven't done this in a long time, actually. An unboxing video, a dedicated unboxing video. Um, so there's going to be a lot of interesting fragrances to unbox today. Some pretty pricey ones. Um, yeah, including Aventus Absolute. So Aventus Absolute is not necessarily a first impression. It's going to be reliving, if you will, a first impression or a second impression, I guess. First impression was just meh. And um, it kind of smelled like uh, Supremacy Not Only Intense by Afnan, <laughs> but better quality, of course. What's going on to the chat? Love you too, Abid from Bangladesh. Y'all are awesome. Um, so I was just finishing packing up. It's around 11 p.m. And I was like, you know what? I've got way too many to unbox. I just got the Le Beau Paradise Garden. First impressions. The green stravaganza. What up, Andy? Hello, hello, E. Kroom. What's happening, man? What's the deal? So what I want to do before I get started is tell you guys my scent of the day, obviously, and read some of your scent of the days. Drop it, drop it. India, what's happening? Rishab, good to see you. So let's see. I know a lot of people want to know about the Paradise Garden. I actually really want to know about Paradise Garden. So I want to pull up the notes. Swadikum Assalam, Flicky TV. What's happening, James? How you doing, brother? Okay. So today I wore an Arabian Oud fragrance. It's called Jabal at Tu'bad on Instagram. I told you guys a little bit about, well, what I wore. I didn't really tell you anything about this fragrance. But this is a frankincense. It's a lot of a fragrance, actually. It's not just like one, one thing. It's kind of balsamic. It's got it's frankincense, jasmine, rose, patchouli is essentially what it is. There's a lot on the plate when we're talking about what this fragrance does. You have to be a frankincense and jasmine lover for sure. Um, it's balsamic, but naturally honeyed sweet. And you would think that this kind of would clash a little bit, um, but it's almost like three dimensional. It seems like there might be some hedione or some kind of uh, musky fixative, etc. that really makes this one kind of stand out and work together. It doesn't necessarily blend. So it's not, you know, you have balsamic and then you have sweet and white floral. It's thick, it's fatty. And then you've got like this crisp patchouli. There's some pink pepper at the top. There's a lot going on with that fragrance, basically. Uh, I'm going to be formulating my like complete thoughts, etc. I took a bunch of notes. Just read it and I know what I want to say, but I'm going to leave that for a full review. But if you like frankincense fragrances, this is much more than that. And I actually really enjoyed wearing this one. It's frankincense, it's jasmine, patchouli, and in the dry down, it gets kind of creamy. It's very nice. Very nice if you like, like I said, frankincense, balsamic. What's going on, Raul? Uh, I'm, I tried. I'm tuning in for the live tonight. What's happening, man? Yes, sir. I thought of Risala when you mentioned Arabian Oud. Yeah, everybody does. A lot. That's like their flagship uh, fragrance for sure. Send of the day, Armaf Siaj. That's what's up. Fresh out the shower. What's up, Notary Giant? Good to see you here, bud. Send of the day, Latafa Honor and Glory. Addicting. Addicting. With BDK Tabac Rose. Awesome, man. How are you liking that tobacco rose? Is it worthy of a blind buy? If you say yes, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Astaf Amir Al Arab. Not bad. What's up, Terry? How you doing, brother? That sounds low key, very enjoyable. It is. It's uh, very nice, actually. It's unisex. It's unisex, uh, fatty jasmine and uh, frankincense. It's really good, actually. I think you would actually really like this. I know your taste for fragrances is a bit floral musky etc you would like this one a lot tobacco rose is fire that's what's up notary giant said yes that's what's happened okay what up atlanta sean how you doing brother so first one i want to jump into is this bad boy right here with the ugly weird looking tin can how do you guys feel about the presentations like this tin can man it's weird <laughs> uh let me share the screen and we'll go from there what's going on instagram Sorry if I'm not really sharing. If you guys want to um, get in on the chats, watch it on YouTube. I am live currently on YouTube as well. And the only chats that's populating is going to be the YouTube. So am I sitting down or standing up? I'm standing up, brother. <laughs> I'm standing up. Whiskey Reaper, what's up, man? How you doing, man? 
Exclusive tobacco powdery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exclusive tobacco is actually one of those fragrances that does not smell cheap at all. Like, it's stupid. There we go. All right. Le Beau Green Paradise. Let me open this up. I, I don't even... Why did I look at the note or the uh, rating? So notes, watery mint, green notes, ginger, coconut fig, salt, sandalwood, and taco bean. This actually sounds like it's going to be pretty good. Uh, I like fig. Coconut is not bad. The only thing that I don't like right away is going to be salt. And immediately my hand just lands right on the crotch. And there's like this felt. I don't know what. The, I could smell this. I could smell this already. It's didn't spray. It didn't leak or anything. Hmm. I could smell it already. Genuinely smell it already. I smell fig. Green fig. Okay. Interesting. I like the bottle. I do like the bottle. I, I mean, this is fucking weird, but <laughs> I like it. Okay, here we go. I get a lot of coconut. I'm smelling a lot of coconut already. Is it going to spray first? Nope. Okay. Whoa, that sprayer is crazy. Whoa, dude, this is strong. I actually really like this. This is what I was smelling. Ginger, crisp ginger, watery. The mint isn't anything like overbearing or cloying or anything. Creamy coconut. And juicy, juicy fruit, juicy fig. This is actually really good. I'm not into salty fragrances. I'm not into salty fragrances. But this, this gives me tropical vibes. I like this a lot. And right from the opening, not freaking bad. I know there was actually some people that were telling me today when I posted the short about this that they didn't really like it. Creamy coconut. You know what? I want to do this on skin. I actually really like this. Well, then again, you guys know that my fragrance is a coconut-based fragrance, coconut daiquiri. So I do enjoy coconutty tropical fragrances. That's, you know, so let's see how this one goes on skin. Do I like this more than coconut daiquiri? Let me not even go there. <laughs> but this is actually really good. This is actually really good. It's not bad on skin. That's what I was waiting for, man. Even better on skin. Borachinma, what's happening, bro? You follow me from TikTok, dog. <laughs> Love you, man. I appreciate you, homie. Thank you for the super chat. This is good, bro. This is good. I'm getting creamy coconut fig and like sweetness. How can you not like this? And you know what? The green notes, they're not too green. I don't care for vetiver, man. On my skin, for the most part, a lot of them come off like ammonia, like piss. That's just the way it comes off on my skin. This is not like that. This is sweet, mass appealing. It's a good one. Initial impression, genuinely a 10. Initial impression. I like this. And yeah, there you go. I'm going to let this dry down on skin. I am surprised. I I was, I was. swear to God, I thought I was going to dog on this. I genuinely thought I was going to dog on this. It's good. It's good, man. So I got this off of some seller on eBay has a website. I got it off his website three weeks ago or something, man. It took forever to get here, but well worth the wait. Could this potentially be my favorite one? I, I have Lebeau, this one right here, uh, Le Parfum. And that one's actually really nice as well. Much, much better than the original. This is actually really good. And I, I don't know if I want to call it my favorite because Ultramol is still actually pretty damn good. Le Mole Parfum, I know it's one of the guys' favorites. Like men love that fragrance. For me personally, it's okay. This is more interesting for me. For me. For me, okay. But I like tropical fragrances. I made one. So yeah, it's good. Initial impression 10. Quick update of yours. Modest Un or Sheikh Zayed Blue? Mm, I know Modest Un is cheaper, bro. So go with Modest Un. Because it's not that much off. But Sheikh Zayed Blue is pretty beastly. Um, hey, bro. How you doing? Been following you for a while. God bless you, bro. I appreciate that. Really appreciate your efforts. And I really appreciate your followings. Thank you. What's the difference between Maison Alhambra, Infinity Rose, and Latafa Amethyst? So they're kind of different fragrances, man. Uh, Infinity Rose is much closer to Atomic Rose. Uh, Amethyst is not bad. But Amethyst is not Atomic Rose by itself. It's I think it's got to be like a mix of like... Uh, Atomic Rose and Oud Kohl by Guerlain. It's got like this raunchiness to it that reminds me of Oud Kohl. Um, not bad if you enjoy. They're both they're both all right. Amethyst lasts all freaking day. Uh, Infinity Rose, I think it's like seven hours. 
Infinity Rose is one of the best, like natural rose cheapy smelling fragrances for sure. For sure. They killed it with that one. Is it available online already? I'm sorry, brother. I really don't know. I don't even. Uh, I think you'll find it on eBay. You definitely can find it on eBay. <laughs> the bottle built like you, bro. <laughs> uh, how many hours do you think you'll get you get from that brand? This one? I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. I mean, it's got Tonka and Sandalwood in the base. So these are relatively uh, stable and longer lasting notes. But I don't know. I don't even want to give you a number, bro. It wouldn't be genuine. But let's see what people are saying. People are saying long lasting. So who knows? I'll do a full review for sure. It's a new fragrance. New fragrances always deserve full review. But like if I get something that, that was released in like three years ago, I'm not going to do a full review just because it's not that relevant. People don't really want to see it. This one will definitely get a full review. Might be my scent of the day uh, tomorrow. It will be my scent of the day tomorrow. Better than Le Parfum. Like I said, man, different tastes. Different tastes. Le Parfum is a little bit too powdery. If I want an iris, this is the reason why I'm not crazy about Le Parfum. The reason I'm not crazy about it is because it's, like a lot of people like it for its iris lavender. I don't know if it has lavender actually, but the iris whole, you know, powdery vibe. For me personally, if I want something with iris, I'd much rather go with something that's like straight up like a uh, makeup iris type of stuff. It's not bad. It's not bad. Uh, I ordered Rehan Imperia. They sent me Latafa Emir. Have you experienced it? Yes, I do have it. And it smells a lot like um, Silver Mountain Water. There's another one by Tiziana Terenzi that smells a lot like it. Uh, I forget what it's called. Um, Smells like silver mountain water. Smells like that one, essentially. Who, who, who'd who you order it from, bro? Yeah, man. Lamar, I'm not trying to be insulting, but Vetiver just comes off like that, bro. Genuinely. Um, too bad they don't have an oud fragrance. Hey, you never know. Best fragrance that smells like piss? Probably Terry Dermez. <laughs> Shots fired. <laughs> uh, all right. So let's Hunter Killer Red or Tobacco Myth. What's the difference? Hunter Killer, I get a little bit of a sweet undertone. Tobacco Myth is just straight up tobacco. Like there is Tonka in that one as well, but it's a different. Honestly, if you want more just straight up tobacco vibes, is Tobacco Myth. If you want some, I find Hunter Killer to be sexier, while I find Tobacco Myth to be uh, more grown and natural smelling. Definitely smells higher quality. Um, <clears throat> yo, it's actually crazy you say this, Samad, because the next one is coming up, La Nuit de Lome. It's going to be a double. It's going to be La Nuit de Lome, Clone War, and Blue Electric in the same video. Because it's been a while, I'm doing a double whammy. So there is more than Ted Lapidus Poker Face, and you'll see it soon. And it's in stock, too. It's in stock. God bless you for the super chat, brother. Uh, Dumont Solerio, Epic Chef's Kiss, Shokran. Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. You're welcome, cuz I appreciate that, man. Got the Oris also, but epic. Epic is epic, bro. It's epic. It's it's like 55. It's middle price range, but it's like the Pearl Adore fragrances, bro. Like, it's crazy strong. Really good quality stuff, too, for sure. All right, let me crack into the next fragrance, which is going to be Green Stravaganza. This one I'm really looking forward to. I've been just, I've been loving the Born in Romas more so recently. And this one, I'm hoping it's the same case. That one spray is actually pretty damn strong of this one, the Green Paradise. <sighs> yeah, it's good, man. It is good. All right, so here we go. This is the next one. It's called Green Stravaganza. This is also new. Um, let's see. See, people are already shitting on it. 3.49. Who cares? I'm not going to read that. Whatever. And obviously, they're going to give you the three-note breakdown. Lebo. This actually caught my attention. Let's just take a hot second. Is it masculine enough to be unisex? Well, I mean, masculine enough. It's a mass, it's a men's fragrance. So I think the goal for them was to, you know, use masculine traits, but I think a woman could potentially rock this, but this does land a little bit more so on the um on the masculine side of things for sure. But a woman could I don't know. I get this. The sandalwood muskiness to it and the dry down seems a little bit more masculine. It might be too masculine for a woman to wear. Uh, but I think some can get away with it. Some can get away with it. 
Nav, God bless you for the super chat. Can you talk of expirations of colognes? A lot of them come with expiration dates on it. The higher quality of the fragrance, the more you pay, the less likely it is to expire, uh, you know, more rapidly. Uh, fragrances are usually good for like 10 to 15 years. But if you pay for something that's like an extrait or uh, high quality stuff, you can get up to like 25 years. It's all in the way you store your fragrances. Keep them away from sunlight. Uh, keep them, you know, just room temperature, essentially. And if your place is cooler than room temperature, even better. Um don't get too fixated on a fragrance expiration, but it's, it is a real thing. But it's like, I mean, it's like 20 years if it's a good quality fragrance. Some of these fragrance cheapies, probably around like seven years, I would say. Seven years is probably the cap for the cheapies just because of, I mean, and honestly, a lot of some cheapies you might get more, but I would say general rule of thumb is seven years. Honestly, bro, like don't even worry about that. Like once you spray something that smells bad, it's likely to be expired, but there isn't one set in stone answer, brother. That's what I'm trying to say. But general rule of thumb for quality. So if we're talking designers, niche, et cetera, it's a minimum of 10 years. So as long as you store it properly, don't store it in your bathroom. Don't store it anywhere where there's humidity. Just find, even if you have like a drawer, an extra drawer in your bedroom, et cetera, do that and leave it there. That's like the best spot you can put it in away from sun. All right. So green extravaganza. Obviously, we're going to have some of the notes of the original, which... Um, Let's take a look. See the original. Born in Roma. So Born in Roma has violet, ginger, sage, salt, woody notes. Very basic, generic. And this one is going to be likely to be some of those, including these notes. So fragrance, the bottle looks exactly like the picture. Here we go. I think we'll have to do this one on skin as well. But let's see. Here we go. Hmm. Different. Okay. Okay. That's it. Just okay. I'm not as blown away as I was with the uh, Paradise Garden. And I'm disappointed because it's not bad. I'm not going to go and say it's bad or anything like that. I'm just not wowed. Uh, Green Paradise or Paradise Garden <laughs> wowed me, wowed me for sure. So this doesn't mean it's going to be a bad fragrance. Could potentially get even better. It smells good. I do get a little bit of roasted coffee, but it's not like in your face. It smells like vetiver, citruses, and roasted coffee. Relatively simple. Not bad. Not bad. Initial impression, I'd have to say is probably like a seven and a half, maybe just a seven. Above neutral. So I would say neutral is about five. Initial impression is probably like six and a half. Six and a half to a seven. It's okay. So let's let this one dry down. I want to spray it on skin. Let's give it a fair shot since we did the same thing with the other one. Yeah, but I'm definitely not as uh, thrilled or excited about this one as I was with the Paradise Garden. Paradise Garden was just fun. You spray it on, it just reminds you like tropical paradise. Like, par literally, yeah. So, Okay, better on skin. Initial impression, I'm going to keep it at a 7. So some fragrances, when they do coffee, it can come off like celery. Luckily, this one it's not there yet. No, it's not in the celery territory. It's good. It's good. It is good. But that's about it. It's good. The coffee does stand out a lot more on skin. So I'm appreciating it much more on skin than I was on Tester Strip. But I'm going to leave it as good for now. So good. Whereas Paradise Garden for me was great. And still is great. It really is good. It really is good. Yeah. Yeah, green extravaganza is not bad either. As it's drying, it might get better. I think it will get better, but definitely Paradise Garden for me. The opening, at least. I was hoping, I don't know what I was expecting out of that one. I was thinking or hoping for a bolder coffee. Maybe like coffee, you know, dense patchouli vibes, etc. You really can't rely on the notes anymore because, I mean, this is what they do. Three notes. God bless you for the super chat. Sky High Hicks. What up, Neeb? Have you tried Feiruz? I have not tried Feiruz. Wifey bought it and I told her off. <laughs> Wait, bought it and I told her off top. 
Oh, I'm getting some hits. Oh, shit. That good, huh? Feiruz. I'm going to have to look into that one, bro. God bless you for the super chat, brother. Thank you very much, bro. Let me look into this one really quick. Feiruz. Al Arabi Al Oud. Okay, they don't have it on Fragrantica. I'll have to look at this on my own time. Thanks for the heads up, brother. For sure. How's Valentino? Born in Roma. Born in Roma is good. But definitely, if, you, if you're thinking of like the ones to get, it's Coral Fantasy and Intense. Born in Roma Intense. For sure. Coral Fantasy is like the sexy vibes and Intense is like all year. All year. This one's okay. All right, cool. Let me move on. I'm a little disappointed in that one. Not going to lie. A little disappointed. Okay, so next one I want to unbox really quick is we've got a lot to unbox. So I apologize if I, uh, you know, don't see your comment. It's genuinely that I don't see it or I just want to get through a lot of these fragrances. That way it can be fruitful for people watching it back. Creed Aventus. Creed Aventus Absolute. <laughs> man, I dreaded picking this up, but I was like, come on, man. I can't have, can't have Creed Aventus and not Absolute. I can't talk shit about Creed. I don't own the damn thing, but, um, okay. So let me be very clear. I think that this one is better than the current formulations, but that's not saying much because the current formulations is really not much, but let me relive it really quick and see what it's like. So I do like the bottle. I like the bottle. I don't like the price tag. <laughs> Shit, man. I don't even, I don't even want to remember how much I paid for this. I think I picked it up from Aura. And it was around 329 maybe. Maybe. And then right after that, I saw Best Brands Perfume selling it for like 289 I was so pissed. All right, here we go. Let's see. Okay. It's what I remember it to be. It's like a fruity batch of Aventus with, <laughs> with, <laughs> with Ambroxan. With Sauvage or Ambergris, whatever. It's synthetic, so Ambroxan. Yeah, it smells like a mashup of Creed Aventus, Fruity Batch, and Dior Sauvage, which is not a bad thing, it's just for the price. It's not a bad fragrance. That's my honest opinion. Um, but neither is Supremacy Not Only Intense by Afnan. Just saying. Just saying. <laughs> it smells good, though. It genuinely smells good. And the quality for this one is, is a little bit higher. Um, but I feel like they sold... You know, the, the, the brand sold, uh, Creed sold his brand to, I forget who it was that he sold. And it was like, I don't know if I want to call it a cash grab, but they wanted to do something new. And this is it. It's not bad. It's compliment worthy. I think you'll get attention. You'll get compliments. If you're after the refinement, the compliment factor, it's definitely there. That's not something I'd even argue, to be honest with you. Pink pepper in the base. I mean, I get a lot of pink pepper. Um, but if you like this DNA, just try supremacy, not only intense first, that's all I'm saying. Try it or even our Moff club. Daniel, we, um, I mean, they already did this one urban man, urban man elixir. Hang on. Let me see. Cause that's exactly what, what the urban man elixir. So let's see how close this one actually is. Okay. Aventus and Sauvage this. So who cloned who now? No, I'm not going to call it. Let, let's see. Let's see first. I'm going to call it like it is, man. If it smells like it, it smells like it. What do you want me to do? Creed, if you're watching this, it ain't my fault. <laughs> I doubt they're watching this. So here's a buck. Here we go. Oh, no, 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 no. 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 Let's try supremacy, not only intense. Let me grab that some sucker. Hold on. Okay, let's try it. I mean, it smells good though, guys. I'd be lying to say that it doesn't smell good. It does smell good. Just not, I don't know. Here we go. Oh yeah. Oh my God, dude. Okay, Supremacy not only intense is even stronger, dude. So if you're interested in Creed Absolute, I mean, go for it, but I'm going to tell you right now, this smells like it. Well, this smells like it, and this is stronger. That's it. So I, I spent 320 bucks to tell you guys that. Okay? 
Uh, but there is certain refinements that you will be getting off of a, I mean, who am I kidding? I haven't tried it, like worn it yet. So that's how I feel about it. Initial impression. This is what I think about this initially. It's compliment worthy, compliment getting for collection sake, et cetera. It might be worth it. They say it's limited edition. I don't even see limited edition any, on it anymore. But um, is there better? Yeah. So I don't know. A lot of people say that this one reformulated. Let me tell you guys for the batch whores. Let me tell you which one mine is. This doesn't even have a batch number on it. Does anybody in the chats know if there's like a batch code? There is none. Okay. It's an extrait de parfum. That's all I know. It's uh extrait de parfum. Okay. It genuinely smells really st stupidly close. Stupidly close. And uh, a lot of people were saying that Sheriff Blend by Zamaya was also stupidly close to this. It's because that is a sister company of this. And uh, per my intel that I got when I was there, that is a clone of this. So, of course, it's going to smell like this. These smell extremely alike. Shut off clan. But let me be clear, though. Shut off blend uh, club black or club black smells really good. It's got a little bit of a difference to this one. It seems like a little bit more ambroxan. They're both close, but they're both really freaking good. That's what this is. There you go. God damn it. I spent 300 bucks on this. Doesn't smell bad. That's all I have to say about that. Anyways. Le beau le parfum. You mean le mal le parfum? Yes, there's the there's the fragrance world one. I have a video about it, brother. Batchless batch. I guess so. Okay, so personally for me, my enjoyment, bro, loco, is Rehan Imperia. Reason is, is because I had once upon a time the original Creed Aventus, and it was very birchy and oak mossy, especially in the dry down. I would get wet woods the most and the birch, smoky birch. And a lot of these other brands, they have excellent inspired buys. Hamidi is actually pretty strong. Addicted Intense is really good. But all of them opened up with more of like a lemon. And the dry down, it's not as reminiscent to me personally as that one. I have sprayed the Han Imperial on clothing and sprayed other fragrances uh, on top. And that shit is still there nine hours later. But it's oak moss and it's the birch. And while the other fragrance fades. Um, the other ones will also perform. Hamid the Addicted Intense also performs as well. But for me personally, my enjoyment is going to be Imperial. YSL Elixir. Which one? YSL Elixir. Don't do this to me, bro. I just... Come on now. Oh, shit. Damn. <laughs> well, I know what I'm buying. What is this? Oh, dude. No way. All right. Yes, I will be. 100%. Let me see if I can find this now. YSL Y Elixir. What? It's at Macy's already? When did this release? Um, yeah, you'll see a first impression likely tomorrow then. When did this release, bro? 2024. Okay. I didn't see. I, I guess I haven't been keeping up. Macy's special offer. I, hmm. Can I get it by tomorrow? Pick up tomorrow. All right. Coming tomorrow la venture intense you're always throwing shit always baby <laughs> latin nightclubs man you need something you need something loud fruity honestly try paradise garden bro try it but uh go with you want cheapy if you want cheapy go with like al haramain gold or go with Bruges mysterious dog that's uh, herba pura mixed with baccarat or go with Mysterious is nice, fruity and spun sugar. Even the new Herba Pura, the yellow one is better too, by the way. All right. What else are we going to unbox? Walaikum as -salam. If I have Aventus and Dior, is it worth getting Absolute? Get Supremacy not only intense, bro. Get Supremacy not only intense. I mean, the biggest thing we're going to get with the Absolute is the badge. I'm not going to say there's no value in getting it. 
not going to say there's no value in getting it. I got it. And if I would go back, I'd get it again. Honestly, that's just me though. Cause I like it. I like the fact that I can have it in the collection. There's a lot of other personal reasons. I want it personally. I just want it. And if you just want it, go for it. All right. Chanel EDT. Chanel is one of those men where you really just got to get the OG. Um, but the best ones is going to be the Iconic by Armoff. Yeah, definitely the best one. All right, let's move on. Let's continue. There is another fragrance. Okay, so this one was actually sent to me. I did not purchase this one. Everything else I bought that we spoke on so far. This is called EPC, but this was actually a pleasant surprise. I wasn't even planning on talking about this. Okay, sometimes I like, I'll get stuff sent over and I'll be like, what the fuck is this? Like, what is even EPC? But I tried their sample set while I was laying in bed the other day. I was editing some videos and I tried their sample set and I smelled the fucking fragrance. And it's by far, okay, love it now. One of my, it's my favorite, amb one of my favorite amber fragrances. Cause number one was Blonde Amber by Clive Christian. I know a lot of people love like Tango, right? Tango smells great. Tango is a great uh, fragrance, but also don't forget, this was a fragrance that was sent out as well. By who? Well, people that sell it, right? So these are in the same realm, okay? So th that invalidates that claim if that was the claim. But hear me out and try it. Sample it. I don't give a shit. You use my code. You don't use my code, but you should sample this. It's called Amber Iris. It's by EPC. This is not the fragrance that I have in hand. This is actually decent. It's good. It's Tonka. It's powdery. It's actually really freaking nice for just Tonka powdery fragrances. But that Amber Iris, oh my God. I don't have it but I'm talking about it and it's better than the one that I have on hand. Get a sample set. I do have a code if you're interested, etc. It is through the website and I think it's Aromatics 10. But just get a sample set. I don't even know if they sell sample sets or whatever. Um and try that the amber fragrances. It is so like so whenever I made bakhur, bakhur is incense. I used to buy uh pre-made amber uh, it's mixed, you know, the, the, the amber is a proprietor is a blend of essentially resins, etc. And there was this one called dream catcher amber, it was a proprietary blend to whoever, you know, I got the amber from, but it smelled so freaking good. And I was like, man, I wish I could detect or, you know, know what notes or whatever they put in this actual blend. That fragrance smelled exactly like it. And so I fell absolutely in love with it. And I bought that other fragrance. This I did not Tonka extraordinaire. The bottles are pretty crazy, but the performance on that thing was crazy. I sprayed it one spray on my hand, lasted all day. So basically, all I have to say is that check out Amber Iris. There's another one. They have uh, it's another amber fragrance. It's also as it's also good, very good. Not as good as Amber Iris. You guys know I love my Iris, but this is it. Amber Epicis. This is the other one. It's not bad. This one's good. It's good. Five out of five with three ratings, though. And I think it's more so I didn't really care for it because of the tea. Tea, or, like, gives me a headache a little bit. But pretty good. Look at the notes. I mean, iris, juniper berries, bergamot, vanilla, myrrh, ambrette, ambroxan. But the amber iris, man, there's some kind of, like, base sweetness or something like that. This is it right here. Amber, musk, balsamic, woody, warm, spicy, iris, and vanilla. Oh, my God. This is so good. And these are the notes. So yeah, really good. Love this. Natural vanilla, okay? Italian iris, ambroxan, ambrette. So this combination right here is already in some of my favorite fragrances and some of your favorite fragrances. A lot of you guys that are watching right now, um, DHI, the oral intense, et cetera. It doesn't smell like that, but I'm saying the quality of like iris, et cetera. It's not too makeup baggy, but it's definitely... A good fragrance. Let me look something up really quick. Okay. So, yeah, I wanted to talk about that very briefly. All right. So, that was that fragrance. I don't know where the hell I'm going to put this, but weird shape. There we go. That's where we're going to put it. Okay. So, that's those. Also, another couple of fragrances that I added to the collection, and I never really talked about it, are these samples right here. Well, not samples. They're just small sets 
uh, I bought this from Saks, and it was four of them for like 180 bucks. How big are these? They're five mLs, five mLs, but they're really strong, and that's really all you need. This is hibiscus mahajad or mahajad, whatever the hell it is. This is from Mason Crivelli. Mason Crivelli. This is really nice if you like sweet, earthy fragrances. But it's not just earthy; it's like this raunchy um, hibiscus is very distinct. A very distinct note. Um, let's pull this up really quick. So floral, rose, vanilla, aromatic, and green. And that's exactly what hibiscus comes off as. Very aromatic and green. Um, but I really enjoy the way that it's used. So as you guys can see, leather, peppermint, ambre. It's very unique. Very, very unique fragrance for sure. I really enjoyed this one though as well. A couple of their other fragrances I didn't really care for. The Oud Marcuja is actually pretty good as well. It's like uh, Ombre Nomad or uh, Louis Vuitton. It's decent as well. Okay. Le Beau Le Parfum clone, not the Le Mans. No, I don't know. Oh, the new, new one. No, 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 bro. There is not one yet. Not one yet. Brasilia Absolu is better than the OG, but it's a very pleasant. Yes. That is a spitting image from Alexandria Fragrances. It's stronger. Yo, let me put you guys on game really quick. I got another one from Alexandria very recently. And it's a sample. When I bought, I got hot smoke because a lot of people were like dying to know. And Vanilla, Vanilla Stallion. Vanilla Stallion, by the way. Um, crazy Altair dupe. <laughs> stronger. Okay. Anyways, um, Coke Zero. Coke Zero. I don't know what they're doing, but they're doing it better than the originals. Because Coke Zero is better than Tonka Cola by Mancera. It's more carbonated, and I freaking love it. Nostalgic. It's crazy. It's weird. Kai Trimble with the Super Chat. God bless you, brother. I've been waiting or wanting Arabian Oud scent, but Joma Shop don't ship to me, and other places are way pricey. Oh, damn. You don't live in the States. You live in... Oh, you live in Hawaii. I see that. I can try, and so I'm working currently with, or I'm affiliated now with, filledwithbaraka.com, and they do worldwide shipping. I'll see if he can source some for fair prices, fairer prices, because I know some of these guys ask for some crazy-ass prices. Um, Myrn Bean by uh, Jenny Glow, if you could ever find it, though. That's the only one. But yeah, man. I'll look into this one for sure. But filled with Baraka.com, code aromatics. We're now affiliated. He ships worldwide, UK, US, everywhere, really. God bless you, bro, with the 199 super chat. Thank you very much. Nish. Happy Wednesday to you too, bro. Well, it's oh, it's Wednesday now. Oh, wait, it's still Wednesday. Yeah, it's still Wednesday. <laughs> Agua de ja Jamaica is hibiscus. So whenever you go to Mexican restaurants, ah, okay. Interesting. Thank you. All right. Let's see. Wait, what? Any sub $50 clone options for panty dropper? You want something sweet and dark? Nightclub. Oh, yeah, yeah. Currently using Spice Bomb, but it doesn't get much love there. I'm on a budget. Well, you're in Miami, bro. Or like, right? I think you were in the heat. I mean, club banger, club banger. Let's see, bro. I mean, for me, man, I would... <sighs> Shit, I don't club, bro. <laughs> uh, for under 50 bucks, so I need to be looking there. Let's see. Mm. This is loud as shit. Uh, Solario Epic, bro. Sweet, loud. It's angel share, but spicier. You'll get a shit ton of attention. This. This is actually really strong, too. Bubblegummy sweet. Smells like Hawass. I like this better than Hawass, believe it or not. This is a hidden gem, too. It's called uh, Dumont Axon. Dumont Axon or Axon, however you want to say it, okay? There you go. It's really good. Uh, ba -ba -ba. I'm not sure, Niha, if they ship to Australia, but from my understanding, it was worldwide. Thoughts on, I don't have bad lad. No problem, brother, no problem. Algorithmic Perfumery AI. Never heard of it, bro. So I have no plan. All right, let's continue on with the next one. A couple of sleeper fragrances that I also got. I don't have it on hand. It's it's sitting in the shelf right now. Is Polo Red Parfum. Yo, Polo Red Parfum is good. And it lasts a long time. It projects pretty well. I actually really enjoy Polo Red Parfum. 
Uh, I also got the Polo Blue Parfum, which lasts long as well, but it's a bit more aquatic for my taste. Um, let's see really quick. So here we go. So Clary Sage, Vetiver, Jasmine, for whatever reason, it's just too, it's blue. I'm not crazy about blues, man, but let's look at Polo Red Parfum. This one I actually really enjoy. Citrus aromatic, musky. So the absinthe, blood orange, pink pepper. Pink pe I love pink pepper. Oris, I love Oris. So it's no reason or it's no surprise that I actually really like this fragrance. So it's actually a really good one. And it's uh, I, I was at Kroger a grocery store and I sprayed it on right before I got a compliment from a lady in the bread aisle. Yeah, it's a good one. <laughs> Polaroid Parfum. I got mine for like 70 bucks. I bought the big one though, so. Yeah, I think you can find the small ones for around $49. It's not bad, man. Polo fragrances are actually, um, they don't get a lot of love. A lot of them don't last, sure. But there are a few that do. There are quite a few that do. Okay, let's revisit Green Stravaganza. Not digging it. Not digging it. I'm going to leave it at a seven. I don't want to disrespect it and say six and a half, but... It's like a seven, six and a half, somewhere in between. Not crazy about it. Not crazy about it. It's not better than their other flankers. That's it. All right. Another one. Speaking of Rehan, I finally found out what the hell this is. Corium is stronger with you leather. I was extremely surprised um, because this is one that I kind of like sniffed. And I was like, what the hell is this? I put it aside, put it aside, put it aside. And then I finally got stronger with you leather. And I was like, holy shit. This is, this is stronger with you leather. So that's the Corium. I've got a couple more fragrances to unbox as well. Let's unbox them now. We might as well. Uh, I see we have a super chat. Oh, bro. Dumont Nitro Red is a fire, Maro. I agree. Here you go. <laughs> Spray it on and you're set. John, after this live, I'm going to be announcing it. Um... Been packing all day. Have you had it? Have you heard blue? The new blown? No, I have not. I've not heard of it. God bless you with the 499 super chat. Greetings from London. You're the real deal. I appreciate you, bro. Just got Oud Al Sheikh. Defo has Woody Arabian vibes. What's the performance on Haltain? Haltain all day. Parfums de Marley? All day. All day. Paradise Garden? Still smells really good. Actually getting creamier and woodier. Yeah. Haltain is a. No questions asked. It's amazing. I love that fragrance for sure. La Saucy Zebra, have I tried it? I think I sprayed it at a store once. Didn't really care for it, and I, le I left to walk away. By the Fireplace is awesome. I love By the Fireplace. It's like a 9 out of 10 for me. I actually have it right here. This is the limited edition gold one. Obviously, all gold. I bought it. So, All right. Let's unbox a couple more fragrances. We've got two from the Guerlain, the Luxury, and we've got two from Armani. I've had these for a while, never unboxed it. This is Armani Code Parfum and Eau de Toilette. I got them both. They're the newer ones, so we can just do a really quick first impression on them. And the reason I want to do them all in this video is because they're not that new. So why does it need, it doesn't need a separate video. So let's see. So this one has also a lot of my favorite notes. So let's see. Bon Dumont, Celerio Epic, Last Long. Sure does. All right. Women tend to enjoy freshies on men, much to my dismay. They do, Ricky Tomatoes. You red son of a... No, I'm just playing. But, um, well, no, you actually are a red son of a tomato, I guess. But, yeah, they like sweet fragrances, too. Different women. Different women like different stuff. Our women love oud and sweet. Um, let me not go racial. But yeah, <laughs> so yeah, really depends on your climate, etc. But yeah, a lot of women do like freshies. It's just easier. It's stupid. It's dumb reach. It's like inoffensive. You just smell clean. Women like a man that smell clean, period. You smell clean and sweet or and something else. That's a, a plus. Let's see. Oh, really nice. Oh, why did I not get this sooner? 
there, so there is that Armani code backbone DNA, but with an aromatic sage that I'm getting a lot more of, not too much of the bergamot, more so around the aromatics and the floral iris. It's more of a floral iris, not too much of it. Not really getting much of a lipstick. It's kind of there. There's a little bit of it. But it's pretty well blended. Actually, this is really freaking nice. It's like the OG um, Armani Code grown up, more refined. It's really good. This is actually really good. I would signature scent this. I would signature scent this. Maybe not during like the hotter weather. But fall time, maybe cooler spring days. This would be good in the spring, fall, and winter. This is really good. I'm getting more of this iris oris combination. Slight cosmetic vibe, though. Slightly there. This is actually really nice. Really freaking nice. Initial impression, I would say probably, I'd give it around a nine. I love iris. I love iris. And I, I really enjoy this. It's about a nine. It's nothing spectacular, you know, but... Uh, Smells masculine while being refined at the same time. Really nice. I enjoy it. A nine. For sure. How did I sleep on this for that long? I don't know. I was focused on Middle Eastern cheapies. Still am. Still am. But I'm focused on everything. <laughs> All right. Let's compare it with the EDT. Ooh. Why does this look better? Immediately vanilla at the top. Look at this. As soon as I see sweet, I'm like, what? God bless you with a $5 super chat. Eric, you mentioned a mango tobacco frag several vids ago. Sounded awesome. Don't remember the name. Uh, thank you for the support. Mango tobacco. I, I mentioned a mango coffee fragrance. I don't know about mango tobacco. Uh, mango cream, mango lassi, mango coffee. Let me know if it's the mango coffee. Because if it's the mango coffee, let me just tell you right now. It's uh, called Narcotic by Vertus. I think it's called nar nar Narcosis by N Vertus. It's mango and coffee. It's actually really intoxicating. Very different niche DNA for sure. And there's a chibi for that. This should have made it to the niche fragrance list. I forgot, man. But this is it. King of Diamonds by Fragrance World. It smells niche, the DNA. Um, and even the fragrance execution. It's mango and coffee. Very unusual. Very different. Very nice. Might have been the coffee. I think it is the coffee. If not, bro, send me uh, if you can find that video. But I don't remember a mango and tobacco. I don't remember a mango and tobacco. But yeah, that one. Unusual, but addicting. Very nice. Very nice fragrance. All right. Nitro Red. Best cheapy. I agree. Close... Closest Aventus clone to the original, bro. I, I personally, there's top three and you can make your own decision. Okay. For me, it's a Han Imperia. It's going to be Club Denui limited. No, Club Denui um, limited edition. Yes, limited edition. And Hamidi Addicted Intense currently. Okay. Vanilla. Woody, aromatic, lavender, and amber. All right, let's see. Note differences, green mandarin, lavender, tonka bean. Looks a lot like the original. Same bottle, like the OG OG, like once upon a time. Seriously? Damn, the collar. The collar is coming off. Fuck, man. It's not magnetic. No big deal. Okay. Oh, well. To be real, I'm probably gonna okay. Never mind. Here we go. Okay. A lot more lavender. A lot of lavender in the opening, actually. Green mandarin, lavender. I like the OG more. This one's kind of boring. Not bad though. I mean, it's not bad by any means. It's better than. Better than Green Stravaganza. Although Green Stravaganza is different in the dry down. It's, not, it's not, not bad. If you like lavender, creamy, tonka bean, 
it kind of smells like like uh shaving cream man very barbershoppy it's like barbershoppy cedar creamy shaving cream with cedar and that mandarin and some tonka sweetness i'm not really digging this one much honestly i'm not uh relatively boring relatively no it is boring it's pretty boring i've smelled this a lot Classic fragrance, though. If you like classic barbershop fragrances, this will be right up your alley for sure. If you like classic barbershops, that's what this one is. Super creamy, frothy. And now let me revisit the parfum. Okay. Parfum is still better. Parfum is still better. I'm still getting that backbone of like the lavender, but the iris and oris. Combo keeps this one from going boring. Parfum is definitely better. Definitely better, but they're both pretty masculine scents. That's kind of the Armani Code DNA, though, so I'm not hating on it. I don't hate on it. It's, it's really good for what it's doing, but the Armani Code de New Eau de Toilette, I'm getting Mandarin Shaving Cream with cedar wood. It's not bad. If you like barbershop fragrances, it's actually good as a barbershop. I'm not the craziest about barbershop, so that's why. This one, however... The, the parfum, I mean, that DNA is evident. It's definitely there, but it's more interesting. There's that iris, there's the oris, there's sage. So yeah, this is definitely a better pick, the parfum. If you're looking into both of them, if you're looking for something simple, classic, then go with the toilette. Otherwise, the parfum is more interesting, in my opinion. So that was those. Liquid Brune should be available in March, January, February, March, if not April. But I have a giveaway video coming out very soon for it as well with a full review. Should be coming out within the next week or so. What up, Pink Panther? Goldfield and Bakes, purpose, Purple Suede. Lataf al as al Ausaf? No, I have not. It is flimsy. Right out the box, man. Thoughts on the new boss? I like it. I like it. It's the original, very original, but richer. It's got cojones, basically. I like it. God bless you for the one ninety nine super chat performance on Heart Nell. Um, Heart Nell for me was like it actually lasted a pretty long time because it's an earthy fragrance. I think it was like seven hours. Um, I kind of wanted to say eight, but uh, eight, seven is pretty safe. Uh, more so on clothing, too. On clothing. Ocean Rush or Pacific? Pacific is going to be more compliment worthy. Sweet. It's sweeter. It's sexier. If you don't like sweet, if you want something that's closer to like Aqua de Joe, go with Ocean Rush. Code Parfum was a pass for me. I, already, I enjoy the original more, in my opinion. I respect that. Cool. I haven't uh noof if it's the pineapple one that i have I, I really enjoyed that one do i think it's mass appealing and versatile it's not that versatile no but mass appealing it's pretty unique they have that distinct meninka fruit amongst all of their dnas um so it's i don't think it's a mass appealer to be honest i don't yes the best one is called desire 2 by the dua brand it's like spitting image, spitting image. It's called Desire 2. Uh, smells like Wajan. It's Legion by Fragrance World. Stupidly close and actually really good. That one lasts a hell of a long time. I like Karud Azraq. I love it, actually. Stronger than the original. All right, let's get into the next two. Talk about a fucking unboxing, eh? These two right here, Guerlain Fragrances, I bought. Four of them from Joma Shop. I think I got each one of them for 160 to around 185. I unboxed Santal Royale, which is one of the best ones from all of these. Uh, what are these called? I don't know. The collection, this collection. And then Oud Essential was okay. It definitely is an acquired taste. So today we're going to be talking about Boise Mysterious and Epicis Exquisis. <laughs> So let's start off with the Boise Mist. There it is. 
All right, woody leather, amber, fresh, spicy, aromatic, warm, spicy, animalic, and patchouli. Believe it or not, you guys, whenever I see animalic, I actually dive into it even more. Like, I want to try it now. So, I mean, a lot of animalic fragrances uh, have, like, this, this nasty edge, like sexual or, like, aphrodisiac. Sometimes it's good. Sometimes it smells like dukes. So, hopefully this one gives it the edge. Let's look at the notes. Neroli, cedar, patchouli, jasmine, leather, and myrrh. Okay. There it is. Whoa. And here we go. Nice sprayers on these. Whoa. Oh, God. <laughs> what did I do? A lot of myrrh and leather. A lot of myrrh and leather, bro. <laughs> Guerlain has some awesome fragrances. They really do. All right. I get aromatics. I get myrrh and leather. A lot of myrrh, man. This is not going to be... This is definitely a testing fragrance. It, I've smelled worse. Definitely smelled worse. Um, what do people rate this one at? 424. It is very balsamic. Very balsamic. It's not bad. It's really not bad. I get a hefty dose of jasmine, myrrh leather, and an aromatic uh, laurels. I don't really have much experience with that top note, so I'm not going to even act like I do, but it's a spice. Okay. And camphorous. Aromatic camphorous. Okay. Not bad. Woody, earthy, Jasmine, it's a challenging fragrance. It's something that you would have to study. I can't just tell you guys what I think. Right off the bat, I can't even give it like a rating because it's that's how it is with a lot of more complex fragrances, niche fragrances, etc. I mean, right off the bat, this isn't going to be for everybody. It opens up with like hot breath. <laughs> that's the best way I can describe it. And a lot of it is because of the myrrh. So... Not digging it off the top. Not. Let me see what it does on skin. It's going to smell like my dog's breath. Off the top. Here we go. I love unisex fragrances, uh, Jason. Actually, I've gotten more, more compliments wearing unisex fragrances than any other. Much better on skin. Much freaking better. That cedar is coming out very clearly. It's almost like sawdust, which is beautiful, by the way. I love that. Sawdust quality woods, um, honeyed floral, jasmine. It does have some spice, but aromatic and myrrh leather. Much better on skin. Much. This is actually surprisingly, it's like night and day. I like this. And I'm getting leather. Definitely animalic. The more I live with this, the more I'm going to like it. So that's essentially what's going to end up happening here. Initial impression is like, holy shit, what did I do? Not going to be for everybody. On the opening, I think it was like a... I couldn't even formulate a thought or an opinion. I was just like, what? So in the opening, it was like a four. Seriously. And then... It's getting better. It's getting... I'd put it at like a six and a half now. Six. I'm going to call this a six, currently a six, but that means absolutely nothing because this, I really have to live with it, but people are fixated on ratings. Like they really want a rating. That's not, I mean, this could end up being okay. First impression six. That's what I'm going to give it. That's it. Done. That line of Guerlain fragrances, including Santal Royale are difficult to wear. Definitely niche tier. They are for sure. For sure. This one is, it's much more complex. Santal Royale actually really enjoy Ricky. Um, I really enjoy Santal Royale, but the other ones are, yeah, they're very different. Very different, bro. Ponyo, don't forget to like the video. God bless you for the super chat. Mr. Isaiah, I've been using Green Irish Tweed recently. I love clean, green smelling fragrances, but it's cold all year round where I live. Any recommendations? Clean, green um, smelling fragrances. So 
I don't want to sound like I'm like trying to like hype my fragrance, but this is me being genuine. My uh, I have coconut daiquiri. It's kind of green. There's a note of hibiscus. It's coconut. It's milky. Uh, no, it's uh, musky and vanilla. The musk and vanilla really help this one last a long time. Another green. Uh, let's see. Clean green that last. Clean green. I'm not that much of a green wearing uh, fragrance, but you should check out Hibiscus Mahajad. That's also a really good one, but there are a lot of floral notes to that one as well. And a lot of people would argue it's extremely femme, but I think it's unisex and I rock the sh out of it. Love it. Um, also, but there's a lot of green I could give you, but not really clean, man, or like earthy, um, especially that are going to last. Mm, because I think of like when I think earthy, I'll tell you like Carlisle, there's that Perlador for Carlisle, but. Hmm. Looking. Sorry, bro. I'm not much of a green wearing fragrance. Green freshies. I really don't like Terradure Mess, etc. I don't wear those fragrances, but there is one that I got that's relatively clean. I don't know. It's more so aromatic. The Mont Blanc Ex Explorer Platinum, and it lasts a decent amount of time. Let's see. Platinum Explorer. If you're looking for budget wise, at least, but it's more so aromatic than it is green, really. So no aquatic green, soft, spicy, aromatic. Try this one, man. It's not bad, honestly. But that's not really my niche. Uh, green and clean. I'm more so sweet, sexy, spicy. Sp sp yeah. Ambery, sweet, vanillic. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm into. I'm into fresh, but fresh, woody, aromatic, spicy. That's my fresh. Like my fresh fragrances, everything I wear has like pink pepper. Um, there's going to be like some woods, et cetera, aromatics. Those are the type of freshies I'm into. I, I do like some aquatics and blues, but not not a lot, not too many. Um, Actually, try this, man. It's coffee, ambroxan. It lasts a long time. Here, Uomo, Salvatore, casual life. It's very different. And I wouldn't necessarily say like green, but it's fresh, spicy, coffee, woody, aquatic. And it has a lot of ambroxan in this fragrance. This actually lasts a pretty long time. Check out the notes on this. This is actually one of my favorite cheap. Actually, it is my favorite cheapies is the Salvatore Ferragamo Uomo line. The original and this one. This you can rock easily and it lasts for me personally all day. Eight to ten hours for this one. And this is it. Casual life. A slept on heavily. Heavily. Okay. So let's move on to the next fragrance. Beach Hut Man. Clean green. Oh, you know what? I didn't think about niche fragrances actually. Um, even niche. I don't really go for clean green, bro. Unless, you know what? No. Cedrat Boise. I would classify that as slightly green. No. Let's see, Cedrat. It's like wet woods, creamy, pineapple-y. Yeah, see, I'm not, the green is not my thing. I got that for uh, Ferragamo Casual Life. It's unexpectedly good with the coffee note. Yeah, man, unusual. Un those are like niche DNAs, execution-wise. Like, it smells very fucking good. Bro, you're, you're definitely a problematic bitch. Don't lie because, bro, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Any sexy clone signature scents under 50 Latin neighborhoods with loud projection. I got you some lists coming up, bro. Some lists coming up for sure. Wajan or nothing better. Whoa. Okay. Chill out, guy. No, but I agree, bro. Wajan is awesome, bro. I love it. Wajan is the like the best of it. But yeah. Okay, let's continue on with the next one. Epicis. E this one. Warm, spicy, woody, aromatic, fresh, spicy, powdery, oud, and musky. This sounds like it's right up my alley. Notes. Cardamom, Angelica. Yeah, man. This is me right here. Whoa. Okay. Look at the notes. So when I first bought these, all four of these, I actually did take a glimpse at the notes and I was just like, okay, this one looks good. This one looks good. This one looks good. Let me grab them. So here we go. Ow. I don't prefer Hachivat over Aventus, no. But if you're going to go Hachivat, honestly, I'd say just get Sidrat Boise. 
save up money for that fragrance because it's actually a really good one. Here we go. This is my jam. This is the type of fragrances I'm into. Spicy, woody. I mean, spicy, man, but sexy, oriental spicy. Coffee, this is my shit right here. Woods, a lot of pink pepper, a lot of peppers, actually. Abrasive, almost, like scratchy pepper, but in a good way. I love it, man. I like this a lot. I like this a lot, bro. Your thoughts on Antonio Banderas Blue Seduction? I don't have that fragrance, bro. Sorry, brother. Your thoughts or opinion on Middle Eastern fragrances or designer niche decants? Absolutely nothing wrong with it. But you got to be careful where you get it from because are you really getting it? So. Reputable sources for sure. This is really spicy though, man. This fragrance right here, Epic C6. Yeah. Um, there are a couple of fragrances that really stain my brain that are just super like pink pepper bombs, blah, blah, blah. This is borderline too much pink pepper. Whenever I smell pink pepper on its own, it smells like you like scraped your knee or something. But this is actually, it's good. There's just enough. It's like borderline too much, but it's actually really good. So I want to spray this one on skin. Oh, God. Oh, this is a no. This is a no. Boise Mysterious? No, sir. No way, bro. <laughs> Smells like my dog licked my arm two days ago and I never showered or something, bro. Fudge. Fudge. Okay. Come on. Let's go. This is probably going to end up in that fragrances I wouldn't buy series again. All right. Here we go. This is a strong one, though. The Epicis, strong one. Initial impression, seven and a half. Seven and a half for this one. Um, a lot of niche fragrances, initial impression is not going to be much more, honestly, uh, because it's unusual. That's the whole point of niche fragrances. Girly girl who loves spicy, boozy, woody unisex fragrances. Nishani Ani is my jam in the dupes. For every day. I hear you. I don't get compliments though. Are you spraying it enough, Denise? Are you are you? No, but yeah, I mean, if I don't know, bro. People don't they don't appreciate your fragrance, I guess. <laughs> this smells so good on skin. I like this one. Seven and a half is my solid top. Solid top. Denise, you need to get our moff club de Nui Imperial. That's what you need to get. Amazing. Kind of old school. Yeah, I agree. So this smells good. Epicis. If you enjoy spicy fragrances, you will appreciate this one. Testy as well. Testy as well. Niche fragrances. So as you can see, they kind of like, yeah, we took a little bit longer on these because they're very challenging. Very challenging fragrances. This one, Boise Mysterious. Am I going to keep this one? I don't know. The Boise. This one is good. Whatever. We'll figure it out. Okay. What's next? How many sprays will you say for office of this fragrance? None. I would not wear this to the office, bro. I mean, if you want to be that, that ballsy, three sprays for this. It's actually, it's not that bad. I would rock this probably to the office. Like two to three sprays. Three sprays. Seven sprays. Um, Invicto Victory Elixir. I still haven't opened it yet. I have it, but I haven't opened it yet. Depends on the fragrance though, bro, with the how many sprays. Deep, did you get Rosetta for Stone French so you can learn how to pronounce French words like I suggested? <laughs> I did not, Notary Giant. <laughs> I did not, brother. Um, Umang, you will see a lot of those lists coming up, bro. I've got like nine of them posting soon, bro. List after list after list. Yes, I will, definitely. Uh, a couple of, for sure. Imad, hello. 
Is it a faqat? I must have, like after effect is no, not in my opinion. I it's to my taste, I would say no. But to others, maybe. Depends. If you like uh, Rifaqat, there you go. That's the one, the baby cat clone. If you really like baby cat, then yeah. It's like super, like, you know, suede. Super suede, basically. It's not a bad fragrance. Have Imperial, pretty much. a. Hey, then you know what's good. The, then you have what's good. Try Honor and Glory. This shit's crazy. You're going to see a 20 list for women fragrances actually soon. That shit took me forever to put together. That's a really good one. The Honor and Glory by Latafa. It's really good for women. And Initio Paragon, believe it or not, is actually pretty unisex. And on women, it's just as good. This is a really good one. It's called El Nashama by uh, Latafa. So damn strong. Lasts all freaking day. To the next day on clothing, actually. Really strong. I have not tried Khair Pistachio. But Yum Pistachio Affection is really good by Latafa. I will try Khair Pistachio, though. I have Midnight Oud. It's really good interlude for sure. Specifically for Latinos, bro, we love you. I love you guys too, bro. But do you guys like why specifically for Latinos? Because, uh, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, but I heard that y'all love like the uh, super like loud fruity. Is that why you say that? I'm interested to know. Ganymede versus Boisset Imperial versus another 13 for an everyday scent. I'm sorry, bro, but I would say none. Um, yeah, I don't know. I would say none. What was your question earlier? I want to answer your question. Um, most complimented fragrance. My most complimented fragrance. Um, most complimented fragrance is not going to be anything that I've gotten this year, at least. Um, well, actually, no, that might not be true. But one of my most complimented fragrances is Salvatore Ferragamo Womo, for sure. And Versace Dylan Blue. Yes, sir. There you go. I don't have Ogivre, whoever asked that. I wouldn't every day send any one of these, though. I got you, bro. 20 list. Yes. Seriously, it's a 20 list for women. And not only the 20 list for women, but I've got... Uh, you think I'm playing with this shit? I'm not joking. 12 sexy women fragrances that I've worn. Compliment getters. Yeah. I've worn a lot of these. By the way, Dolce & Gabbana Devotion. Smells amazing. Yeah. Smells amazing. Similar vibes to Zerjof Lira. So if you like Dolce & Gabbana, Gabbana, Dolce Gabbana Devotion... You want something stronger, niche version? Get Lira. Zerjoff Lira. Also, two fragrances that I've worn myself recently is the Oud Gasm Collection from Kayali. And also, what is this one? Rose Oud. Rose Oud is animalic. Like, not animalic, but it's testy. Testy. Another one I wore and I actually really freaking loved. It has that cosmetic vibe. And I mean, guys that are more into like unisex fragrances, if you you got the, you know, you don't care and you want to try something different, this has that makeup bag iris vibe. Valentino Donna, the original. The original is actually really good for women as well. Um, so there you go. Thank you, Isaiah. Had to get Nishama. Uh, haha, got Nishama. You got that too? Damn. <laughs> you smell amazing. <laughs> Shit. I hinted my girlfriend to buy me Nitro Red because of you. It's fire, bro. Trap pack. For sure. Tried an alt of Amwaj Interlude Black Iris. I can't stop sniffing my arm. It's pretty addicting. Concre wet concrete and iris. It's really good. <laughs> it's different. Hope the stream been good. It sure has been. No problem, Balot. Have you tried BDK Tobacco Rose? No, but I'm buying that tonight. After uh, my man Notary Giant recommended. Uh, iris Melikan. I really want to try this one. But those are expensive, man. Mason Crivelli fragrances. I was kind of trying to see if they have any for me to sample at Neiman's rather than just blind buying, but I might end up. Clone Solario Epic is fire. Hamra slash Angel Share Beast. Yes, it is. Uh, Liam Gray, I have not tried that. I can read Arabic. Yes, I got my wife Imperial. She loves it. 
Swiss Arabia Casablanca is good. I've heard that as well. I should pick this one up too. Big fan from the Philippines. Love you, Wumbo. He, she, me, Wumbo's SpongeBob reference right there. Shit. When uh, Patrick wore or SpongeBob wore Mermaid Man's belt and then they flipped it. He's like, yeah, it's not M. It's W for Wumbo. <laughs> Fuck. Ferragamo Wumbo is amazing. I love Dylan Blue. My cousin wears it, so I can't get that. Okay. Uh, you don't, well, I mean, you can just don't wear it when he wears it. Uh, do you like Aventus DNAs? This is really strong. People are going to notice you supremacy, not only intense, but this is a fruity batch. It's easier on the nose, not as smoky. Um, get that Salvatore Ferragamo Womo. Get that. Only one pick for summer. Please tell. Cheapy or regular? If we're going cheapy, ah, fuck, I kind of want to say Casual Life by Salvatore, but I really want to say L1212 Blanc Au Fraiche. Let me show you. This shit lasts on me for a whole day. And it's it has vetiver in it. This is one of those very few vetiver-based fragrances that doesn't go pissy on me. Right here. It has to be the eau fraiche, okay? Citrus aromatic, fresh, spicy. See what I'm saying? That's the type of stuff I'm into. But there is vetiver. So the ambroxan in here, man, this thing lasts forever. Very attention-grabbing, attention-commanding. Ginger, apple, juniper, lavender, cooling, refreshing, and lasts all day. For me, at least. Let me see what people are rating. Moderate. For me, it's all... It's all freaking day. Spray that sucker on like eight times. You're set, bro. You get wafts of this all day. Oh, it crushes Boss Bottled Unlimited. Yeah, gin and tonic, maybe. There's, this is a good fragrance, period. How much is it right now? Joma shot for 45 bucks. What size? Let me see what size it is. The big boy. I might actually grab another bottle and start a wearing it a little bit more what up akshay from india salams ch cobalt blue honestly i don't have much experience with it honestly bro on my skin it lasts all day i spray dylan blue though like eight times eight to ten times Strong as hell, but I make sure to spray it before I go anywhere, like by 20 minutes or something. Is there our most wanted parfum? Get Ansam Silver by Latafa. Yes. For spring, Zerjoff Lira, 100%. This is an amazing spring fragrance. Smells like lemon pound cake, basically. And then also, Honor and Glory. Is it amazing? But were you the no? Nikki wasn't the one that said they have it. This is also an amazing spring uh, fragrance as well. This also screams spring like crazy. It's called Intro After or Ivory Musk. It smells like uh, cherry blossom trees and uh, fabric softener, and it lasts. It, it actually projects really well. Um, also, spring. Let's talk about spring. This smells like fruit punch body mist in a perfume form. It's called Latafa. Sublime. This is sublime. Really good. Spring vibes for sure. So there you go. Speaking of Baby Cat, the one that I like a little bit more than Baby Cat, which has some similarities, is Rosendo Mateo number five. I like it a little bit more. It has less of like this uh, animalic undertone to it because it does more florals. This is an excellent inspired by of it. It's called Rouge 5 by Fragrance World. Really good. Um, this I need to tell you, ladies, about this. And gentlemen, this is a, a unisex fragrance. I sprayed this on hoodie. It's been five days now. It's still on my hoodie. Okay? al Haramein Tana Souk. This is Montel's Intense Cafe, but stronger than Intense Cafe. Rid I could not believe it. I was smelling my hoodie, and I forgot what I even sprayed. I just kept sniffing. I was like, what is this? What is this? And it was this. Crazy. Crazy. Strong. It's like God mode. Um, what's your opinion on Mandarin Sky? I don't have Mandarin Sky, but I just recently got, uh, Mandarin Sky is a dupe of what? We still have a couple more fragrances, so let's talk about those really quick after I 
Oh, the notes look good. What is this? YSL, YADP or some shit? Oh, Skandal? Really? All right, I got to grab this. Because I love Skandal. I do genuinely love Skandal. Um, all right, a couple more fragrances. Let's go. This is not that new, obviously, in my collection. But this is also one of the better ones. It's Red Rush by Polo. Red Rush Polo. I don't see much talk about this one. It's an eau de toilette, citrus green, fresh, aromatic, sweet. Everything about fragrances that I love personally. Um, a sleeper fragrance, but decent longevity as well. Um, one of the better ones, in my opinion. So, finally got this sucker back. Mm. Yeah. Easy. Easy to like. I get a lot of apple in this one. I love this. I love it. Fresh, cooling, clean, woody, aromatic. Really nice fragrance. Sleeper Man. This and Polo Red Parfum are probably like my top two from Polo. Love it. Love it, man. Let's see what this is going for anyway. Oh, yeah, man. The prices are good on this one as well. $32.99. Let's see what size is this one for. Oh, that's a one ounce for $32. 2 $42.99. But at 2 dollars the jump to 4.2, it's like 10 bucks. You might as well get the 4.2. Oh, or you get a 4.2 tester. Which is the same price as a two and a half. 42 bucks. This smells good. Clean, easy. Um, different at the same time, though. I love it, personally. Okay. So that was that one. And then, obviously, the Red Eau de Parfum. The lesser interesting one of the three. But still good. I literally sprayed uh, Kayali Rose Oud. Yeah. You just sprayed it? That's fucking hilarious. Oh, by the way, love this. Blush. Carolina Herrera for women. It's really good. But Elixir is coming out soon if it's not already. Jubilation clone. Nothing that's really good enough, to be honest with you. Opinions on wearing MFK Grand Soir clone in PJs and running errands. Do it. Fuck it. I think it's actually pretty pretty good smelling. And I think it does smell like cuddle vibes. So yeah, you never know. Actually, that's funny you say that because that's what I used to wear the clones for. Uh, specifically for that fragrance. We're talking about Eternal Oud by Latafa and Barakat Amber Eve. Barakat. Shit knocks me out, man. My mom loves Oud fragrances. What should I get for her? Club de Nuit, uh, Armoff Imperial. Armoff Club de Nuit Imperial. Here we go. Well, I already know what this smells like, so. Simpler, easier, fresher. Still good as hell. Easy, man. Office, school, gym. These are perfect for those everyday occasions, man. Any word when Nero by Cedra? I think within the next week or two. Vertus Carrot Gold. Oh, um, let me double check what that one is. Um, I think that's interesting because when I was at the convention in Beauty World, they were doing it for any fragrance that you want. They'll put gold in it. But I don't. I didn't know that now they have a distinct, probably not enough people were doing it, so they just put one in. Never smelled it. Or did I? I don't remember, honestly. I don't remember. Sorry, brother. Prada Black Clones? No. Desert Sultan? The green one. Any similarity? Similar, uh, similarity to what? Is there any similar ones? Uh, not that I know of. That's a unique fragrance, too. Longevity of Polo Rush... I mean, you probably get like five to seven hours, but still, it's not bad, man. 
perfect office fragrance, but more than just an office fragrance. Honestly, I'd wear that on like a like a lunch date or something. It smells good. And it's like every freaking season. It's not going to like perform the craziest in the winter, but it still smells good. Uh, our people usually wear super basic fragrance, like one million, but we got to step it up. Yeah, and you got to spray it like 15, 20 times. Y'all are my type of people for sure. Carbon edition, I had, don't have it. And you think you're in love? Damn. Is it that good? Let's see. Carbon. All right, two more fragrances to unbox. This is a long ass stream. I haven't done one this long in forever. Looks interesting. Oh, Green Irish Tweed. I'm not going to like it. <laughs> but if you like green, let me see. How many people? 84, yeah. Cool water. Huh. Not green Irish tweed, but cool water and steroids. Okay. I actually like cool water more. But anyway, let's see. Swiss Arabian Valencia. I have not tried that one. I agree. It is fire. Neba received Latava Khamra today. It lasts about five hours on skin. What should I do? Maceration? And was yours like this? Mine was pretty strong right off the rib, bro. Uh, spray it more, maybe, or spray it on clothing as well. You have to spray it on clothes as well. But, bro, if that one doesn't, and also they do get stronger as they sit. Um, I'm not even going to offer you an alternative because then that tells you to spend more money. So try and make that one work first. And then there are other options if that one doesn't perform as well edible gourmand fragrances on the cheaper side high end bro a lot um brain fart let me get through these last two talk about so here we go okay overpriced fragrances i don't like them but for the longest time i stayed away from this brand until they sent one to me. So yeah, there you go. This one was sent to me. Okay. Um, I don't know if I would pay the money for this fragrance, but it does smell good. <laughs> it does smell good. This sure as hell does smell good, man. Uh, dried fruits. This is Fahama by Spirit of Dubai. Uh, the presentation on it is actually pretty damn sick. The bottle itself is actually pretty damn sick, but a lot smaller than it looks like on, um, on what's it called? On these pictures. I mean, look at the difference. Where the hell did the, like this this part go from here to here? Or is it? Wait, are we reversed? Maybe I should do it that way. Okay, because I think sometimes the stream changes. Where is this part? But anyways, this actually smells really high quality i stayed away from this for a long time and still to this day i don't know um that's kind of how i feel about clive christian a lot of these other brands that are extremely expensive but when there's something that's just like wow i'm gonna do it if it's worth it it's worth it period that's how i felt about blonde amber and i think this is one that i feel like if i had sniffed in person i probably would have bought this one fahama personally and wow wow i mean look this is like strong it's it's almost got like this this powdery top right and it's like it reminds me of halawa tahinia okay a lot of you guys are what the fuck did he just say we make this dessert it's made out of like sesame seeds we mash it and they mix it with ghee or like fat and like sweetness, whatever. And it smells like this dried fruits oud fragrance covered with halawa tahinia. Halawa means candy, and tahinia means like uh basically it's it's mashed sesame seeds. And let me show you guys what that looks like. But my god, this is good. I swear to God, I love this fragrance, but it is expensive as hell. It is expensive as hell. Let me show you guys what. I think it's called halva for some people yeah in certain cultures this is it this right here so i get this man 
I get this. This is what I smell. This is basically mashed up sesame mixed with like fat, uh, sweetness. There's pistachio in here, but yo, I love, love this cat. This not candy. It's a dessert. And every night when I was younger, my dad, my dad used to always have from this and I'd go and I'd grab a spoon. So immediately nostalgic fragrance for me personally. So I'm going to be swayed towards it. I love this personally love this fragrance. Um, yeah, it's really good. So originating from Persia and widely spread throughout the Middle East. So let's see, let's, let's read up a little bit on this one. Uh, okay. And it's recipes generally a thick paste made from flour, butter, liquid oil, saffron. Okay. That's what it is. Saffron, rose water, milk, cacao powder, and sweetened with sugar. Huh? That's what this shit smells like, man. It's the saffron. And so let's see, let's look at some of the notes. Yeah, man. So dried fruits, fruity notes, rose, wood or oud, coffee, cardamom, sweet orange, saffron. I mean, sponge sugar. Yeah. Fuck, I love this stuff, man. Halawa, uh, shukri or sukari? No, you said shukri. Okay. This text is really small. Yeah, man, that is my childhood story, bro. I used to sneak down after like midnight when they're all asleep and just go, just like kill it, bro. So yeah, this is fire stuff. If you're interested, try a decap first because it is pricey. Um, the best deal for this you could get is with my coupon. Uh, you know, that's a plug. I'm just going to plug it right there. But let me see Beauty the Shop actually, see how much it is. I think with mine, it's 10% off, obviously Max Aroma, but uh, Beauty the Shop it's 473. I'm opening it right now in the other tab. Let me see. 473. I mean, you guys, when you're spending this kind of money, you should sample first. You should sample first. And what I'm going to tell you right now is that sample this because it's really good. And if you do decide to buy it, if you can't find it on like, I don't know, something this expensive, I would be too scared to buy it off of eBay personally. I would buy it from a retail and you can use the code if you would like to, up to you. But a really good fragrance. Put all that shit aside. It's a really good fragrance. Don't let that, uh, you know, uh, Pat, don't let that make you lose the opportunity to at least smell this fragrance because it smells really good. God bless you for the super chat. I'm not always here. Usually catch the tail end of the stream, but you're doing your thing, bro. Just notice you have a membership. Going to check it out. Hey, appreciate you, bro. I don't even know. Uh, hello, Shukram Bush. Can just hold on. Sorry, I don't know. I don't know if that's Farsi or Arabi. <laughs> but my my Arabic is half-half, uh, bro. If you could only rock 10 chibi... Oh, bro, I can't give you a chibi list right now. Come on now. Hey, God bless you with the super chat. Do you watch cricket? I don't. King goalie rules. King goalie. Here you go. <laughs> I don't watch cricket, bro. I don't watch any sport, honestly. I always had this thing where it's like, bro, I'd rather go play it. I cannot. I just I can't. Too ADHD to just sit down. Um, beast mode for the cold weather, bro. It's right here in my hand. Solario Epic. That's a beast mode for the cooler weather. Do you want like a designer one? Honestly, boss bottled elixir is a beastly for, for that as well. Um, what else? Yeah, there you go. A couple of them. Spice bomb extreme, bro. Come on now. A few of them. Al Durgham. Which one is good for summer, hotter region? Sheikh Zaid or Al Durham? They're both pretty good, but go with Al Durham. Good, now I'm claiming some halawa. Yeah, man. I didn't spray this on skin. Where's the strip? Honestly, this is going to be my scent of the night before I go to sleep. But it's so expensive. Do I even want to spray it to sleep? <laughs> no, I'm going to save this for special occasions. This is honestly that good. And no lie, I'm probably going to end up getting Tarath myself, buying it, purchasing. Um, so this could be the first one. Hey, God bless you. Not so famous. I appreciate you being a member, bro. <laughs> I appreciate that, brother. He's talking in Farsi. I thought so. Ahmad, thank you, Habibi. 
Sorry, bro, I don't speak Farsi. I'm not Persian. Some of my family is. Crowley is like eight to ten. Eight out of ten. Okay. Uh sent to the day for later. Qaid versus Ra'at al Oud. Qaid. I think I would get the Herba Pure clone or Dumont Axon or Nitro Red for the net. Bro, listen, Nitro Red and Dumont Axon. They're both loud. They're both loud, and you will get attention with both. This one is good as fuck. What else? Yeah. Yeah, it's loud as hell. Okay, next fragrance. This one I was looking at the other day, and I picked this one up based on... There's a lot of fragrances that I decide to get based on similarities to other fragrances, okay? And just so I can see the differences, because, you know, it's funny... Because a lot of people think that, oh, it's only the cheapies and the dupes that do inspired buys and et cetera. And blah, but that's actually not the case, man. There are a lot of niche fragrances that take inspirations from more famous fragrances. And they, they rebottle it, repackage it. They do their own twists, et cetera. It happens all the freaking time. It's just the way that people want to market it or say it or et cetera. And I guess this year it's just been brought to light more often. And I've been doing that a lot. So um, there is a fine line in, in like keeping... Uh, keeping that out of the picture because sometimes, you know, there's only so many notes and eventually certain things it's going to smell like, you know, similar. Um, and this is a fragrance that I personally, so moral of the story, I picked this up because it got a lot of similarities to side effect by Inicio. And I saw that I was like, okay, I really like Inicio. I might like this. Let me see the differences. So this is from Al Gabra. And I've been seeing a lot about this on Instagram specifically. And I think it was from, uh, was it Bowtie or I'm not sure exactly who it was, but, Instagram, one of the bigger reviewers, I suppose. And this is Eye of Seven Hills. And immediately on first impression, it definitely does smell like it, actually. But it smells more smooth. It smells smoother. There's more of like this honeyed sweetness to it as well. And I would call this more of like a twist of it, genuinely. At niche quality, though. At niche quality, for sure. It smells really freaking good. It smells really good, but it's actually, it's, it's close. It is close. Borderline redundant, maybe. But this smells, it smells very refined. I don't know, man. I appreciate side effect. And so for that reason, I still think this is worth it personally, but I love it. I've got to live with this one first, a little bit more. This is first, second impression, I should say. I haven't worn it as a scent of the day. I want to see the feedback first before, you know actually talking about it um so yeah it's a really good one if you like side effect look into this one very close very close but different at the same time definitely has some i have to live with both to really detect or tell you guys exactly what the differences are there is nothing wrong with taking inspirations like from uh, certain fragrances, etc. it's the whole clone thing that's like a whole different story right that's at least my opinion um, when you distinctively clone something, it's like, okay, come on. But when you take inspirations, I think there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. I mean, flankers are flankers and they're inspirations, but they're still good. A lot of times are, you know, like Coral Fantasy is, is fantasies and it's inspired by the original, but made into a different twist. And it's a completely different fragrance, essentially. Um, how inspired by is a different story. But anyways, this is a good one. That's moral of the story. This is a good one. This is another new new edition as well. I think I have one more new fragrance to talk about. I've got a lot of new fragrances that I haven't done a live stream like this in a long time. That's why there's a lot of fragrances. Um, Kai Trimble, God bless you for the super chats. Is it worthwhile to purchase Parfum version of Elysium? It is top 10 in my life. I'm going to be real with you, bro. I have not experienced it. It's expensive, but if it's a top 10 fragrance, I personally would say try it, man. Try it because it's a lot of money. Try it. But yeah. Okay. Um. <laughs> okay, last fragrance. <laughs> Can I wear blonde amber or Altair at the gym? Not blonde amber. Don't wear blonde amber to the gym. But Altair, yes, you can absolutely get away with Altair at the gym. I have liquid brune, I have as well as Altair. I have and I know I know a friend of mine that actually wore, wore Altair and I caught one. I was like, dude, you smell fucking amazing. It's like, yeah, man, it's all tear. It's like, I know. Shit. Anyways, 
Thank you, brother. May God give you the same, if not more, bro. Uh, thank you, man. I appreciate it. <laughs> I can see you have a I appreciate that, man. Okay, last one that I picked up, last one I want to talk about at least, is this. I've been seeing a lot of this specifically on Instagram. This is Mace or Matt, Matt and Martin, and this is called Wild and Spicy. I wore this, um, I don't remember, but I sprayed it one time on hand. It was like this leather green based fragrance, but it lasted all freaking day on my hand. It's funky looking bottle though, man. It looks like something like out of like an Indian, um, what's it called? architecture notes is pink pepper bergamot rose freesia heliotrope vanilla tonka and musk let me make sure this is the same fragrance because there is let me see relive it i mean i've i've gotten so yeah let me not even talk about how many it's actually really good this is a really good fragrance man Addictive. This is a really good fragrance. Yeah. Anyways, that's the last one that I got. It's really good fragrance, period. But we'll talk about this in the near future. I'm pretty tapped out. My nose is burnt, bro. <laughs> All these fragrances. Um, let me revisit Paradise Garden. It's on my hand. It's still there. It's sandalwood, vanilla, and coconut at this point. A little bit of fig, not much. Green Stravaganza by Valentino. Meh. I don't even know what I'm getting anymore. Uh, Two-day-old dog breath. Fudge. It's not three days old. <laughs> it's not three days old. Um, let's see. I think the Epicis, the other one. It's good. Still spicy. Still spicy, but it's good. That's it. It's just good. And I don't remember what I, so I sprayed. Oh, God. Oh, God, man. That Boisset Mysterious is definitely not mysterious. <laughs> it's, it's very not. Yeah, man. Holy smokes. Hey, God bless you for the super chat, brother. Are Feb Delicios, Tuxedo, and Mustache the same? No. Feb Delicios, Tuxedo, Tuxedo and Mustache are going to be similar. Mustache. Um, I bought Nejdia. It's so oily and sweet. Wonder why people call it fresh. Suggest me a good, clean one. Okay, so you don't think that's... There are sweet and fresh. There's sweet, fresh. There's not sweet, but fresh. Um, if you want a cheapy man, go with Ocean Rush. It smells like Aqua de Joe. Or Ajmal Shiro. Uh, Ajmal Shiro is probably what you're going to enjoy. Or El Durgham. A L D I R G H A M. Montal, some of the best ones are Dark Vanilla, um, Arabian Tonka, and Honey Oud. I am into some Mancera's actually, yes. Mancera has some good fragrances. I actually just got. In the mail, the new one, the cafe. So tomorrow. Oh, yeah, I'm a knocked up cow, bro. I'm dead, bro. Like, I've been up. I, yeah, I'm always moving all day, every day. I love it, though. Desert Sultan, the green one. Out of the Sarf, Zafaran. Any similarity? There's nothing similar to it. Sleeping schedule, I sleep about seven to eight hours, and I usually I'm up by like, I like to wake up early. Where can I pitch this liquid brew? Nowhere right now. Suksham Hajan, God bless you for the super chat, brother. I appreciate it. Aqua de Joe Profumo. Um, Aqua de Joe Profumo, the best one is going to be Socrat. It's not even that good, though, but, but it's the best one for sure. This is it by Latafa. Best chocolate note fragrance. Definitely want to go with Chocolate Greedy by Montal. But if you're on the hunt for a cheapy, go with Cacao Dreams by Alexandra Fragrances.
Okay. A who? <laughs> who is? Uh, all right. Dylan Blue, there isn't anything. There's just that one. It's called Al Qarnas by Arda Zafaran, which means the sniper. Let's see. Okay, it's not here, but here's a spelling, bro. Al Qarnas by Arda Al Zafaran. That's what it is. Dylan Blue. But Dylan Blue's already a cheapie, but some places, some regions don't have it. So that could be potentially why. Arabia Rouge. I think it's a great, although performance is not the best. I don't think it's that bad. I, don't, I think there are better smelling quality ones. Is one million elixir good replacement for Herba Pura? Herba Pura is super strong fruits. One million elixir is sexy amber woods. So yeah. <laughs> no, it's not. It's not not nearly the same, but you, I've gotten compliments on one million elixir for sure, bro. I've gotten a lot of compliments on that one. Try, um, yeah. Try, mm, honestly, Prada Ocean Eau de Parfum, bro. I love that stuff. Spray it on like thirty minutes before you go in. Just cake that son of a chon. Invictus Victory Elixir. I love that fragrance, actually. But there are so many inspired buys of it at this point. It's crazy. So fast. I don't have Bentley Silver Lake, brother. Sorry. Tobacco. It's called Vinny and Tabac by Fragrance World. I'm looking at it right now. Vinny and Tobacco. It's off of a car black. It's not bad. Not bad at all. But there's better. Check out my YSLY EDP Clone War. Cheap like bad boy. I don't have anything that's like, well, I don't have anything bad boy, but cheap like bad boy. You should check this one out. It's called El Rye. It's not li like, it's in, these, these, they smell the same. It's like better, in my opinion. One million elixir right here. El Rye by Artur Al Alam. That's it. Very sexy, sweet. Tarathi Blue, Vu Elegant, Cher Pistachio. What order would you get them? Best to worst. Um, I haven't tried Cher Pistachio. Tarathi Blue, I'd get that first because of its versatility, then Vu Elegant. One million Privé, I loved it, man. Just wasn't the strongest fragrance, though. It wasn't. I'm ashamed and disappointed I bought the small bottle. I wish I bought the big boy when I had the chance, when it was still at Sephora. Yes, Nabil brand is a sub brand of it. And actually, hang on. There is one that's supposed to smell like Fahama. Let me see. <laughs> Excuse me. No. Oh, right here. But a lot of people are saying, no, it's eight and five. Hmm. But then there's Turath as well. This is the next one that I want to try. Turath. See, once I start with one, man, I want them all. That's what's going to end up happening. So let's see. This is called Earth. Let me see if I have some of these so we can unbox it now. Fuck it. Might as well, right? Let me see. Hold on. Bam. Okay, we've got Magatir. Let's check it out. Damn, why did I let you suck me into this, bro? <laughs> I need to get off. I need to get off, y'all. Let me see. I love this shit, though, so it's all good. Let's see. Warm, spicy, sweet, oud, woody oud. I bought this probably seven months ago. So it's about time. Fresh, spicy, leather, yada, yada. All right. Let's see. First thing that I want to see right away is like, okay, if this is even remotely close to the quality, 
then this is absolutely worth it at the price that I paid. If it's even remotely close. I just had this stigma for Nabil for a lot of like cheap, like ooh, cheap bakhur. But that changed my mind, the spirit of Dubai, for sure. It's really good. Oh my God, I can smell that Boise Mysterious. Bottle, strange. Definitely strange. Nice. Not bad. Whoa. Okay. Cap slides off. Metal with very lightweight. Let's see. Here we go. Not bad. Doesn't smell cheap at all. Getting a lot of saffron oud rose. I mean, when I smell this, I don't think all of these notes, honestly. But then again, look, they, they double list notes to make it look even more complex. Like vanilla, vanilla, oud, oud. Sandalwood, sandalwood. Why? Why all of that? There's a lot of rose here. I do get some resins, a little bit of that civet. It's animalic oud rose saffron. Kind of has similarities to amber oud by Roja. Kind of. I do sense this one. But there's more going on here than just Amber Oud. Okay. Uh, Arabian's Tonka. Just a saffron, sponge sugar. This is actually pretty good. This is actually pretty good. Is this Bell Fury? No, Serenity. This is pretty good. Kind of reminds me of like Risala too, man. It's that whole Oud, Rose, Saffron combination. It's not bad. Reminds me of Risala. More complex. More complex, but not as high quality. Or is it? I think I'm quantifying quality with this one with uh, how loud it is. But that's as simple as it is. I'm getting Oud, Rose, Saffron combination with fruits, with civet. It's good. It is good. It's a good oud-based fragrance. I got that hint of amber as well from Amber Oud, but I don't really care for Amber Oud by uh, Roja. This one, it's better. So yeah, not bad. Really not bad. Another good cheapie, I suppose. How much would I pay for this, though? It actually smells pretty good. I would I would say this smells like a fragrance that goes for like doesn't smell cheap at all. I would pay like 80 up to if I didn't know what this was, I would pay up to 80, 85. That's how much I would pay if I didn't know what it was, but I know what it is, so don't you dare. So not bad. That speaks for the quality of the fragrance. Want to buy section on fragrance? I don't stay up with it. There's quite a few. Spray the cap instead. <laughs> Let me actually spray this and see how loud it is. Six sprays. Not that I know of, bro. All right. I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. Bad Boy Extreme worth 70. I love it. Yeah. I love that fragrance. Yeah, I can smell this. It's not going to be for everybody. Animalic Udro Saffron. Simple as that. Animalic for sure. Animalic for sure. It is good, though. This reminds me of, like, um, some Oud oils. that we have, that I have specifically, actually. This is actually really good. Let me spray this on skin. 
I mean, the fact that I'm like constantly going back to this is it says enough, honestly, for me personally. This is good. This is good. If you like, if you like animalic oud and saffron, civet is prominent. Civet is prominent here. I like this a lot. I like this a lot. Well, it's castorium in this one, but it's animalic regardless. Sweet, saffron, oud, some maybe fruits, but a lot of rose and that castorium. I like this. Yeah, this is a good one. I would buy this again, personally. Let me see how much it is. I got this from Triple Traders a long time ago, so I don't remember the price. Please understand that this is not for everybody, okay? Animalic Oud. If you like Animalic Oud, this is a good one. $47.99. Not bad. For what you get, it's good. On skin, it smells much more expensive. The whole DNA of this smells expensive for sure. But anyways, that's it. That's the last fragrance I'm going to be talking about today. Um... Pretty epic live stream, if I may say so myself. Shit, how many fragrances did we go through? Um, what are the perfumes that I would keep for the rest of my life? I'll have to make a video on this one. I'll do like 20 or 10. I'd keep them all, except for the ones that I don't like. Well, no, but yeah. I asked this earlier, mother called. Neeb Jim video. I got you, Austin. There's going to be some vlogs soon. I'm going to Saudi very soon. You guys will watch it all. We'll go live stream, etc. I'll do more live streams when I'm traveling, man. Answer more questions. Chilling at the airport. Do some Q&As. Does it dry down in Mason Ombre? Yeah, smell good. Uh, I haven't. It smells horrible. Damn. I wore it like maybe three times and it was okay. It wasn't bad. Agreed, agreed. Gym video. I guess so, man. I've been I've been cutting naturally. Just been busy, man. Dior Intense or Parfum? Parfum. Parfum. If you like oud. Parfum. Tony Iomi or PDM Percival? Percival's more uh mass appealing. Iomi's sexier, more unique. I don't have Silver Lake. So drop Boisse or Boisse Intense? Boisse, the original. Uh, I have seen it on Amazon for around 40 US. That's not bad for this fragrance. 40 bucks. I want to say that I actually rated this. Uh, no, price wise, it's good enough at where I put it. Bro, as a budget user, will Spectre Wraith save the, serve the certain purpose of Black Phantom and your take? Yes, I do believe so. It's a little bit more of like a dark woody take on it. But it's still relatively close, and 100% it will, definitely. Um, depends on the price price differences. Both of them are pretty damn good. Sheikh Zayed Blue is strong as hell, but Modest Un is not to be slept on either. It's really good. I am in the medical field. Um, Riyadh, inshallah. And then Jeddah. Anyways, I agree, bro. And I build the rouge is good. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys so much for watching. This was uh, out of all of these, I think some of the best ones has to be Green Paradise and uh, oh, the Fahama, obviously. But this Mahatir is actually really good as well. If you like animalic oud based fragrances, this not bad either. Not bad. Signature scent worthy fragrance. And. Oh, Eye of Seven Hills, side effect, smoother, and do not sleep on, uh, well, sample, EPC, the brand, the Amber Fragrance. It's Amber Iris. If you like Amber Fragrances, you need to get your nose on that one. Thank you guys so much for watching, and until the next live stream, probably tomorrow, tomorrow uh, I'm going to go pick up the YSL Y Elixir. Let me search this one up really quick. You know what? Before I end the stream... Let me remember all of the recommendations. If you guys can drop a couple of recommendations and I will.
caught some of them. Cobalt. I know I want to try and just get cobalt and live with it. I never really lived with that. But yeah, what a long ass stream. Two hour mark. Holy smokes. New release JPG better than Lebo EDP. Lebo Le Parfum. I think Lebo Le Parfum is sexier, but this is more uplifting. Green Paradise is more fun, if you will. Reef 33, similar as. I need to live with it a little bit more, bro. Reef. Let me see. Damn, that's good. Damn, that's good. Reef 33 is actually really good, bro, and I don't know what it's similar to. Damn, that's good. That is good. Tarathi Blue, Woods Collection, Dusk, amazing. Peace out, guys. I love you. <laughs> Until the next stream. Adios.